Hi everyone, today I have here another great case of all on four. We did all on four uppers. We did a hybrid screw retainer bar on lowers. Kermit, how are you? I'm good. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for trusting. Thank you for coming here. Kermit, you are from? Dallas, Texas. Nice. Big hugs to Dallas, Texas. And uh, tell me a little bit, and thank you for sharing, by the way, about the story. What happened to all those teeth that you... That you I've had a uh, lot yeah. of dental work done over the years. I've had a lot of surgery. I've had a lot of other stuff. But all of the teeth that I have root canals on have basically broke off at the gum line and had to be extracted. Um, some of them I had implants taken care of, so I had three implants on the bottom, and then I started losing a lot more teeth and a lot more uncomfortable shaving set of stuff. And I thought, well, I have alternatives, but let's see what the, the dental the alternatives are. And then you start to search and find out that... Well, somebody suggested dental tourism. And so I went and looked it up on Google and I went through what all the stuff. I looked at a couple of places and I called and I got recommendations and the recommendations I got from you yeah, were very, very positive. <laughs> positive. That's good. That's good. Yeah. We do it with love. That's important. I came down. I felt very comfortable and I felt, well, I felt comfortable after the first day. Because we had that all the surgery to be done that first day, and boy, that first day, that, that first day was hard. That was hard. What we did on that first day is that obviously we start to talk about how was the going to be the procedure, and we had here. Let me just show a little bit. We had three implants already there, and we had to extract all the other teeth, all those roots that were in, and all of these partial leftovers. Exactly. So those leftovers, you need to obviously dig a little bit to remove them. Um, and it was not like an easy procedure, but we extracted everything and we preserved those three implants. What we did is that we added another three implants to preserve those three and we did the screw retainment bar. And here, see, we don't have enough space here for implants. We didn't want it to do sinus lips, so we decided to do an all four. What we did is this, this. We did an all on four. Technically, I have a picture of the way that the teeth were. This one. Oh. They were like that, uh, with, with some decay, and thank you for sharing. But this is just to know that even if we have that big decay, there's still a chance to reconstruct and to do. We are in a great moment of technology where you can do like uh, great procedures done in just a couple of days because see, you don't have no bruises, you don't have no so Everything looks amazing. Everything looks amazing. It was a big surgery, but it's worth it. It was a big surgery, and I had a lot of stitches, and yes. when I got home after about four weeks, I went to my dentist, and he took it all out, and he was very impressed with the quality of it, although two of his nurses sort of fainted because of the extensive amount of, of work, stitches. <laughs> thank God we have stitches. When patients tell me, are you going to put so many stitches here? Yeah, well, thank God we have them, because the flaps cannot be like that, so that's what we're going to High quality, very impressive, worked out really well. Oh, thank you. What we did is that we placed two implants, two tails, two straight. We did the other four, and here we compared the other three implants that you had. We placed another three, so we have a, a screw retainment bar. We did some bone grafting on the areas where you had those teeth extracted. And tell me after, he has been here 10 days, and uh, we did this procedure on the very first day, then we worked on the lab, we did a couple of things. And now, yesterday, you were able to have them inside your mouth. Tell me a little bit the story before and after on the way you eat. For the That's last three or four years, it's been very careful about what I eat because I don't have, I don't trust that my teeth are going to survive. I've, I've had a lot of experiences where I'll be eating something and all of a sudden I'll lose a tooth is loose. Uh, that's been difficult. And then when I came down and got the surgery, I went back and I had two temporary dentures. And even with the dentures, has been very, with a different set of things that things worked out well. Now I come and get the permanent set of stuff and I can go in and I can eat, order meat, I can order steak, I can order salad. And I can chew the salad Beautiful. and it, boy, is that good. <laughs> I, like uh, I don't have to worry so much about what kind of foods I'm eating and so on. But you, before, it was more a case of I would get tired of eating long before I would get full. Mm -hmm. So I would be constantly eating small amounts of food. Now I'm going back to eating 
regular meals, regular food. Oh, that was good because it was a long time for this wedding moment, no? For this yeah. moment to have to have the to, to eat a, a salad. That's one of the most complex things because it's crunchy. Did you try chicken wings or uh, apples? I tried apples. I haven't tried chicken wings. I'll, when I get back to Dallas, I'll try chicken wings and I'll try some of our barbecue and uh, hamburgers. Uh, they're very, <laughs> that, very that's good. good. One of the things that I like is see the layout. This is a great layout. That's what I was talking to you about the buckle corridor. Yep. They look nice, even. See the height. That's why we did that waxing to measure the height. And everything. this is my design. And they look super natural. Did you receive any compliment yes, from yesterday to today? Did you ask anyone? I talked to uh, a couple of people here in the mall, and they looked at it and said, no, which tooth do you think they got fixed? And they looked at it and said, I can't tell. I can tell. <laughs> That's good. It may be language, it may be that uh, it's just everything looks perfect. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that, that you're having that. Well, this is one of the things that you can do. Remember, if you're going to do a novel form, the proven protocol is only by Novel BioCare. And uh, if anyone's going to tell you that they're going to do a normal form that is not this brand, that's not a, a, a proven protocol of all of them for. The ones that you have is from Novel BioCare, and it's the best, the best implants that you can find in all of them for. And there's so many implants, but the proven uh, protocol is only by Novel. And uh, another thing, what about the cost? What's the difference oh, between oh, the cost oh, and oh, home? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> When I had three implants done before, each of those were $6,000 a piece in Dallas. When I looked at getting full mouth implants in New York, yep. they estimated to be the price of being between $66,000 and $75,000 for both sets. When I went to Dallas, they said, okay, perhaps we can do this for $44,000 at the bare minimum. Here, the whole total was a little less than $23,000. Yes, 22,000, and it's the same material. Unfortunately, our country, it's a poor country, I need to say it, and uh, we don't produce nothing, everything's imported. So when they ask, what, what about the quality of the materials? What well, was the same one that you had back home? The doctor that I went and had a checkup looked at says it was very high quality, and very good stuff, but that they would need to work a lot more on it because they need to redo everything. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> I like to carry with that. One thing that I should point out is that yes. I had the three denture, uh, three implants before that were done with a different style of it. And we were able to reuse those implants and reuse that set of stuff so that what was done before was not completely lost. Okay. That's, that's that was a strong selling point. Rather than having to redo everything, we were able to use that stuff. Like exactly. Why not? It's technology. Remember that all implants are the same. All of them are titanium grade 5, no matter what you place them in. The difference is like if you have the doctors trying to make the best they can, they can find solutions like this. Yeah. Don't you think so? I think that's so. Now tell me a little bit about Cancun, that's important. Anything about Cancun that you can say? I can say that Cancun, it's a very big, there's a large amount of tourists here, and there's a large amount of very comfortable environment. And there's a lot of tourist stuff in the area, and if you haven't been to the archaeological environments, you miss out on a lot of stuff. It's very safe, very comfortable, and very relaxed. I haven't been afraid of anything while I've been here. No matter what this works. That's great. That's why we live here in Sami Cancun. Now I have a surprise for you because I have an apple here. Let's try this again. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's try the apple and let's see. I tried your Granny Smith last night. <laughs> Boy, is that one. That's one of the things that I like most. All of four is a proven protocol, and that's what you can do in just a couple of days. And how do you feel the strength? I feel very strong. He still has stitches. I mean, those stitches, obviously, well, the ones that, that are inside, because we put two types of stitches, the ones that go out inside and the ones that go among the external. So those ones are still there because he just had a surgery eight days ago. And, uh, and see, he's doing amazing. That's the cool thing about this. See? I like it. I like it, I like it. I, it was a, a, a pleasure to have you here and a privilege that, uh, that, uh, that you are sharing a little bit about the procedure. If you're out there looking for a solution, no matter where you do it, it's very important to understand that there's, right now if you have three things, uh, at the same time, like great patient, like Kermit, because he was always positive, good attitude, and, and also sharing, obviously, thank you, and uh, good materials and expertise from the doctors, 
you can have a great, great solution. Now, you need to take care of those simples. Remember to take care, uh, keep them clean. <laughs> below, below, those, uh, be, be, below those structures, keep them clean and they're strong. Eat, drink, bite, and do whatever you want like a regular, like a, and come to see us every year. Come to see us and, uh, and tell that us. That would be good. <laughs> that would be good, that would be important. Every year, just for service, remember we just remove the screws, we give service and we just put those screws in again. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. I like it, I like it. Thank you, thanks everyone. Jeremy, thank you for sharing. <laughs> I like the way you eat apples. How many years without eating no apples? Five. Five years without eating apples and here we have, it's not a miracle, it's just pure physics, good materials, excellent patience, and that's what we can do. Thank you for watching. This is another great story about Pollen 4 from Nobel BioCare. And thank you for giving us your likes in our social media. We like you all, and we do it with love. Big hugs to Dallas, Texas, and here we are in sunny Cancun. Thank you.